everyone, welcome back to my channel. Wow, I cannot believe that it's already the end of May. Uh, not that time has been flying by or anything, staying in quarantine has definitely made the time pass a lot slower for me. Anyway, today I'm going to be sharing the May edition of my Spark Joy series. You're going to find out what three items are must-haves for me and are currently sparking joy in my life. If you're new here, I'm Vishali and you're watching Tiny and Tidy. This is where you'll always find content that will help you figure out how to simplify, organize and clean your home. I also love to share productivity and time management tips. So basically just a bunch of really useful stuff that's really going to help you improve your life. So hit that subscribe button down below and let's do this. All right. So item number one are my OXO pop lid canisters. Okay, first off, I don't know what these things are called. Are they OXO or OXO, whatever it is. I'll link them down below, but they are a definite must have for me. A long time ago, I didn't know anything about decanting products and I just tried to organize everything in its original packaging. This isn't a good idea because it takes up more space when you do that. It's also hard to see how much you have left and to be honest, it looks like a hot mess. Yes, decanting is an extra step, but it's so worth the effort. You'll save a ton of space, your pantry will look a million times better, and you'll also know when you're running low on certain things. When I first decanted, I just bought canisters from the dollar store. I've tried both their plastic and glass ones. The problem with these is that they're not airtight, and I'd find that the items I'd put in them would often go stale. These containers, on the other hand, have a great seal and nothing goes stale. The fact that they're square or rectangular also allows you to make the most of the space. They also stack nicely on top of one another. I love how easily they open and they're very easy to clean. The lid comes apart and you can put the silicone gasket in the dishwasher. The other parts need to be hand washed. I labeled all of my canisters using vinyl labels. I've linked the machine that you can use to make these labels in the description box down below. It's not necessary to label everything since you can easily see what's inside, but you will want to label things like flour, sugar, salt, cornstarch, baking soda, and other items that are difficult to tell what it is just by looking at it. These are on the pricier side and you can save some money by buying sets, but I still think that it's worth the investment. They'll last forever. So it's a one time purchase. As for expiry dates, I don't usually worry about this with items in my pantry since I know we'll finish it before it expires. But if it's something I don't use often, I will write the expiry date on the bottom of the container on a piece of masking tape. You can also stick a chalkboard label on the back of the container and use a chalk marker to write the date and then simply erase it when you need to refill the canister again. All of the items I'm mentioning in this video will be linked in the description box down below. If you'd like to know more about how to organize a pantry step by step, I suggest that you sign up for my Clear the Clutter membership. That's one of the topics that I'll be covering in that membership. Basically, every month we'll work on a different area of the home and I'll teach you how to fully declutter and organize your home step by step. I'll also share what systems you need to implement so that all of this is easy to maintain. You can find out more on my website. I've also included a link to my Clear the Clutter membership in the description box down below. All right, let's move on to item number two, Kyocera ceramic knives. Soon after I got married, I decided to join a chef school at a college here in Toronto. I did a few courses there so that I could learn the basics of cooking. And when we first started the course, the instructors told us what kitchen tools we'd need to purchase and made some recommendations. One of the things we needed was a chef's knife and my instructor recommended the Victoria Knox brand. So that was the one that I got and I still have that knife today and I do love it. It's sharp and durable. But over the years, I wanted to add more knives to my collection, so I purchased a few different sets, but I was never satisfied with any of the sets that I had purchased. Then one day we went to a friend's house for dinner and I noticed that she was using a white knife with a black handle. So it caught my attention since it wasn't your typical stainless steel knife. She told me that it was a Kyocera knife and it was the sharpest knife she's ever used. The only problem is that it chipped since it is a ceramic knife. However, she contacted the company and they replaced it for free. So I decided to try them out and bought six Kyocera knives and a holder. I fell in love with these knives right away. They truly are the sharpest knives I've ever used. They easily cut through tomatoes, which can be challenging to cut with some knives. 
But over time, I also had the same issue as my friend and my knives started to chip. To date, I've had three knives chip. If this happens, you have to fill out a form and mail it into Kyocera. You're responsible for paying for the shipping to ship the knife to them. They'll then look at it and decide if they can send you a replacement. If, you, if they do decide to send you one, they'll cover the shipping to mail it to you and they won't charge you for the replacement. To date, they've always replaced my chip knives, but this can get annoying and expensive since you have to pay for the shipping to send it to them. You have to be careful with these knives and not cut anything too hard with them. Use a stainless steel knife when you're cutting something hard and also be gentle when placing them in the sink. The other issue I have with these knives is that the white blade quickly gets stained. You then have to scrub it with some baking soda to get it white again. Luckily, they do become white again, but this is just an added step that I don't like having to do. So if I were to purchase them again, I'd buy the all black set as opposed to the ones with the white blade. Even though I've had issues with these knives chipping, I still absolutely love them and can't stop using them. You really have to try them out to understand how sharp they are. They make cutting things a lot more enjoyable, so I don't plan on getting rid of them anytime soon. The last item I'd like to share today are my Epicurean cutting boards. I've gone through so many cutting boards and finally found some that I love. I've tried plastic and wooden ones and never been satisfied. Those would always get warped, so they're hard to maintain, or they'd get stained. These ones on the other hand are lightweight and slim, so they don't take up a ton of space, and the hole also makes them easy to hang and easy to grab. They don't slip all over the place and they won't ruin your knives. I have them in all of the sizes and love using them. I decided to go for the slate color because I didn't want them to get stained and I'm really happy with the look of these. They can also be used as a cheese board and look fantastic. The best thing about these is that you can simply put them in the dishwasher to clean them and they won't warp or get bent out of shape. Again, they are on the pricier side for a cutting board, but they'll last for a really long time, so I think they're worth the investment. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below and share this video with someone that you think will find it useful. Next week, I'll be sharing some strategies that I've implemented in order to help me develop good habits and strong work ethic. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. Follow me over on Instagram and Facebook because that's where I share daily tips and tricks to help you get more organized. And make sure to check out one of these two videos for even more practical and useful content. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye.